Welcome to a little study with me, cramming edition. Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. Welcome to another little study with me, this time a cramming edition. So I actually filmed this the day before my chemistry mock. These exams were like mock mocks because they're not like the official mocks that we're gonna have later on in the year, but they're still kind of important mocks. So I had an inorganic and physical um, exam test mock thing and it was kind of all the stuff from last year and half of this year. That basically meant it was a crazy amount of content to learn and although I'd done a bit of revision already, I did not feel in a good position uh, the night before. So I knew I had to spend a lot of time going over stuff and I would say when you've left yourself not that much time for a lot of content, the most important thing to do with your time is to focus on the areas you know you are worst at. So I knew there were certain parts of inorganic chemistry which were so memory based that I would have no chance if I didn't know them. So those were the things I really focused on the night before. So as you can see, I did um, some blurting of equations in inorganic chemistry. And here I'm doing some blurting from memory of heterogeneous catalysts. And yes, I did put homogenous at first and then I decided I actually wanted to talk about the other one, so that's great. Also, I practiced drawing some shapes of um, aqueous ions, all sort of things that you know will come up that are really easy to slip up on. I also rely heavily on the notes that you can get off of the Chemrevise website and they have them for literally every chapter in AQA A-level chemistry, so I really recommend you go on there and print them off. So here I just practiced doing a really hard redox titration question, and so I just covered up the example, did the question, and then the example was there for me to go through afterwards in case I didn't understand it. So yeah, then I just went through um, and I checked my answers, and I have a really bad habit, like I don't even know I'm doing it, of untangling the knots in my hair while I'm just reading stuff, so, yeah, and then as you can see, I did some more blurting of equations, um, making sure I balanced them. And I'm a massive fan of using scrap paper and just filling every little bit you can on that piece of paper. So I always rule off like another bit and just blurt out things into that space as well. I mean, it's all just for memory's sake, so it's not really worth um, using like a perfect new sheet of paper. And then as you can see here, I went and I did a past paper. So um, I saved the specimen paper for the night before because it's kind of the most relevant to our specification. Um, although I had been doing other practice papers from other specifications as well, like the old spec. Um, so yeah, here I just did the specimen paper and I went and I marked it. And this is really sped up because this was a two hour paper. So, yep. Um, oh, and the most important thing that you should do when you use a past paper is at the end, write a little like, what have I learnt kind of thing. Just seeing like areas you need to focus on more in your revision, things that you slipped up on, like maths, maybe like a titration question. You know you need to go over that or little things like forgetting to put the right sign in in an enthalpy question things like that. And then I just read through some more notes and flashcards um, and then I put my little pyjamas on so enjoy that. And keeping it real, those are my leopard print pyjamas. <laughs> um, yeah and then I have this little book of notes of really rough last minute things which I've copied up from my flashcards of things that I need to look through like the night before. And I just had a chat with Folk which is why you can see me talking every now and then. Um, but I just went over the little book went over my aqueous eye on the colours again and that is that. And it's funny because I'm filming this voiceover having done the mock now and having having gotten it back. Even though I didn't get my target, I was very happy with the grade. I feel like it's where I need to be at this point in the year. I know I can still improve and I know that I don't know the content now as well as I will know it when the exam rolls around. So yeah, I was happy with my result. I did find the paper really hard, but I've always been better at inorganic and I'm not very good at organic. So I kind of rely on the inorganic to pick me up. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little cram with me, study with me. It was quite fun to film alongside doing my revision. It felt like it gave my revision even more purpose. <laughs> um, if you have any tests coming up, I really wish you luck. I hope it goes well. I hope you 
know how to revise best for yourself so that you can smash that exam. Um, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like it, put that little thumbs up. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week. Bye.